Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about, handling thermal expansions in heat exchanger. Our flagship courses are, Master Static Equipment Design, and PVE Light, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Now, handling thermal expansion in fixed tube sheet. Can it handle very high thermal expansion or mainly we call it differential because if both sides, if it, it's equal thermal expansion, then we, it's not an issue. But if it's a differential, then if I don't have below, you know, just consider the first case when there is no expansion joint. Okay, in that case, so first, if there is no expansion joint, then what will be my, can it handle? No, right? So let us take one example where my shell side is at 100 degrees Celsius, you know, just for example, my, in, my tubes, there is fluid which is having 250 degrees Celsius liquid. Okay. What will happen? You know? So tubes are at very high temperature. So they will, their expansion will be very high. You know, we calculate the expansion with thermal expansion coefficient. So your final L for that temperature will be more compared to the shell because shell will not expand that much because it's at lower temperature, right? Delta T is small for that. Okay. So the tubes will try to move, you know, it will try to push that tube sheet because shell is trying to hold your tube sheet and tubes are trying to push it. So what will happen in that case? There will be lots of stress coming on the joints, right? Because that is the joint which is holding the tube sheet and tube together. Okay. So if this joint is very strong, in that case, your tube sheet will bend. Okay. And then bending may become a problem. Compressive stresses in the tubes, that may be a problem. Okay. So lots of the problem. Let us try to understand with per mode example how that happens. You know, inside we have provided the tubes and high temperature. So you can see how it's trying to bend. Outside shell is you know, trying to hold the tube sheet while your tubes are trying to expand. Okay. So it's trying to bend this portion. Okay. Great. So finally, you will end up with something like this. Okay. Where your tube sheet is bended. Okay. In the operation. So always it will be like this because the temperatures are maintained during operation. So now that we can resolve this issue by providing bellows, right? But bellows, as you know, are always part of problem because they tends to fail very frequently. So whenever your operation is very critical and you don't want the maintenance to go up, you, know, you don't want these items to stop your work. You know, like in oil and gas, you'll rarely see bellows in heat exchanger. So if thermal is problem, we'll directly go with floating. Okay. Because, you know, uh, even slight maintenance time, the loss of time will be very, very cost. You know, the implication will be cost implication will be much higher. Okay. So you don't want to play with that cost of small items. So they go with floating directly instead of bellows. Yeah, so that is one point. So below design definitely helps in thermal expansion, but because of frequently failure, because of limited life cycle, you know, it may create problem. Okay. Now, if I have BU type, whether I'll see the thermal differential problem in this YouTube type, whether there will be problem because of temperature difference in the shell side and tube side. 
No, right? Because other side, it's completely free. It's a U bend. So even tubes, if it is expanding because of U, it will be able to handle. So once there is bend, it reduces the stress. It increases the flexibility. Okay. So even in piping routing, if you see, whenever piping person see a problem, they will provide a bend. Okay. So once you provided bend, your expansion problem is resolved. The pipe becomes more flexible. Okay. So here the same thing is happening with the tubes also. So in YouTube type, it becomes flexible. So it can handle the thermal expansion better way. Okay. AES type definitely made for that to tackle the expansion. So it's now the tube bundle. This side is completely free with the shell. So it can float. Okay, there is support provided at the end, and then it can easily float inside. So there is no effect of differential thermal expansion. So the best way to resolve thermal expansion is to allow it to expand. Okay. Please remember it's very important points. It will help you in you no know, thermal design. We generally don't do in design by rule, but if you go to FEA. The solution for any thermal expansion problem is to allow, make it flexible. If you provide, if you increase the thickness, it may further increase your stresses. Okay. So always try to allow the expansion. It will resolve your problem. For in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.